we all need to get to the point where with our enemies we have to get to the point where no matter what they do or say to us we need to still be there for them for instance if they need any help or anything like that and I know that some of those people may be really irritating or annoying but imagine this if you can't be swayed by the negative things that a person say and do to you imagine how many people that you can bring to God how many lives that you can change because some things that we don't think about many of us have bad past our past have been very bad so for many people because of that they act in the negative way that they act now they make it seem like you are the problem but in fact they are the problem because of what they experienced in the past so they believe that they have to act in a certain way toward people to make sure that whatever happened to them back in the past will never happen again even if they have to do you wrong so what I am trying to say, and I am pointing the finger at myself as well, we all need to get to the point where we become pincushions. As in, no matter... <laughs> okay, here we go. No matter how many times a person, here we go, this thing right here, pokes us, no matter how many times a person pokes us, really get us mad, really gets us irritated, we need to be there for those people, especially when they need help, whether they ask for it or not. This is something that I have to work on myself because I don't like drama. If a person comes to me trying to fight me or argue or something like that, Usually, or many of the time, I am going to stay away from that person. And that is not good always. Because what people really need is unconditional love. They need someone to be always there for them, even when they are very rude and very mean and just say the craziest things to you you have to be there for those people and I don't like getting angry I don't like to get irritated I like peace and if it was possible I would stay under a rock <laughs> For the rest of my life until I die not having to deal with people and you know just wait until I die and go to heaven afterward because dealing with other people and I am not saying that I am this angel or anything like that but I tend to like to stay to myself because usually well to myself or a few others you know because some people wow so something that we all need to increase in as well is patience patience for people no matter even if they are dead wrong I really hope this makes sense we have to be there for more people because if you say that let me keep it simple <laughs> I was going to go into something else but maybe I will I don't know but some people say that they want to minister or be a preacher or someone who prophesies and works in a church and stuff like that 
And if you are the type of person that gets irritated by people easily, you don't want to be a pastor. You don't want to be a preacher. You don't want to be any of those things because those people have to deal with others. And if you know that you are not that type of person that like to deal with others, that job is bad for you. For myself, <laughs> I like to keep my life very, very simple. You know, I'm not, I don't look for attention from others or anything like that. Not really. If anything, maybe have a few people to talk to, so on and so on, but I like to keep things simple. So I really hope this makes sense. But if you want to please God, and if you want to bring more souls to God, you have to deal with more people, which is something that I have to change about myself. Which is really hard because, like I said, I don't like getting angry. You know, back in the past, I would be so depressed and angry and all of this other stuff. And now that I have peace now, I want to keep it that way. <laughs> but, like I said, if you want to bring more people to God, you have to increase in patience and you have to make yourself available to more people so I really hope this makes sense if you have any questions you can ask me God bless